Hi, my name is Jacob Rockowitz, and this screencast is going to walk through placing web forms in blocks and creating web form nodes. Starting off on the main form page for managing your forms, I'm going to use the contact form as the primary example. I'm first going to show you how to place it as a block. I'm going to go over to the block admin UI. I'm going to put it in the sidebar. Go to the web form, place block. I'm going to select the form we're using the contact form. You can customize the title. Uh, I'm going to say provide us with feedback. You can actually pass default values that are even support tokens into the web form. You can control the visibility. I want it just placed on every page. I'm going to hit save block. I'm going to go to the site and you're going to see the block on the right hand side. And I've also created some default nodes which I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to hit send this message. Now what I'm going to do is actually click through to one of these nodes. I want to show you something, kind of a very interesting behavior. So I'm on this node. You can try to remember the title, but don't worry too much. I'm going to click back. I'm generating a few submissions from some different, oh, this is one node on the site. I'm going to click back. Let's see if I can find another node. There's another one. Give me a second, have some patience, because I'm going to show you a really interesting behavior and feature to the web form module when it comes to submissions. So I've created three submissions. I'm going to navigate back to the web form module. You see the three submissions, I'm going to go view them. And what I'm trying to illustrate to you is that the web form module, when you're posting submissions from your site, is tracking where they're coming from. I'm calling this a source entity. And the idea is, I've had this form on the site and someone's provided me feedback on three different pages on the site. This happens to be the front page because there's really no entity there. It's actually tracking entities. What's the entity that someone has posted this submission from? So if I went to a user profile and attached a form, it would know which user profile the form was submitted from. Um, this has a lot of powerful implications because you have this rich metadata that you can use to track things. This is actually what powers web form nodes, which I'm going to demo in a second, because it's tracking which node you're posting the submission from. Um, we'll actually I'm going to keep this open so we can come back to it. I'm going to click on shortcuts. I'm going to open add content. I'm moving on to creating a form. Create a web form. So I'm going to give it a title, contact us. You can enter custom data. Your fields are available. I'm going to select the contact form. Once again, you do have the ability to enter some custom data to be passed to the form. You can also open and close the form. Now I'm going to hit save and publish. And you're going to see the form on your site. This is a node. This is a node with a form embedded, so you can put fields around and images above it and get full control over it. And when you create a web form node, it also opens up all the submissions. And this is interesting. This is a contact form embedded in this node. And if I click results, you're going to see zero because it's actually tracking the context and no one submitted anything for this web form node. Let's generate a test submission. That's another tab that becomes available. I'm going to create a test. Now I'm going to click back. This redirects to the front page. I'm going to click back and go to results, and you're going to see the one result to this node. Now if we go back into the main submission view, and I hit refresh, this is showing us now someone has submitted this contact form from the contact us node. This opens up another series of possibilities, because you can have a registration form that's shared throughout multiple events, and you can track which events people are registering for. And you can use this option here to pass additional data or default data to your form, including stuff from, for example, you could add a custom field to your node and pass that data to your form, and then that's passed into your submission. This opens up a huge array of possibilities that you can use to build really rich applications with your forms. Um, I hope this helps get you started with placing blocks and creating web form nodes. Thank you.